Hey everyone, Arkane here, back with Homeseek. Oh, they are done and ready. We left off last last episode going through a bunch of these. I um, mean, opening up this, I'm pretty sure we'll get us out of this area, which of course is, is one of our goals. But then this came up and I kind of, uh, I want them to go there first and then over there. Because I do still need to build a purification center. Um which i would like to do first but i definitely need more scrap for that that is definitely holding up i am also um oh wait i need yeah to upgrade this one um oh my voice i'm also continuing literally right away from where i left off last episode so if you have left any comments and i am not you know, I don't follow them. That's because at the time of recording this, I have not even edited that video. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, I, I want to get out of here. I want to, I want to finish this one. So that's why I like moved up to the, to this one pretty quick. But, uh, but yeah, so they'll be there in seven hours. I'm just kind of moving this ahead a little bit fast. The two reasons one because i do want to upgrade this okay that was like an hello is this oh this needs power oh no oh i didn't think about that it doesn't say it though yeah that's uh okay that's a problem i i messed up on that one massively needs three power not enough power build a power generator um i do well i did have i don't now okay well let's uh let's speed up because uh yeah that's uh that's not gonna happen right now so this should come up any moment now to let us know what's over there come on there we go fun fair the world the word oh i still can't speak the word funfair dangles on old wires the bulbs which once lit the letters smashed are missing nothing about this place looks fun anymore nothing about it seems fair either metal structures tower above us huge wheels long swings small cars must have been colorful once before the bleaching sun and sand had their way we enter the funfair its bright colors now faded its strange structures almost twisted and sagging it doesn't look like fun it doesn't look like fair we examine strange stalls filled with small yellow ducks dented tin cans and mold moldering stuffed toys there's an old rifle attached to a chain what should we do attempt to break the chain and take the rifle for scrap it's a worthless toy leave it but take a shot at one of the tin cans no but you do that in uh i don't need to take that okay well you know we'll do that i'm like something is something's gonna like bounce back and and someone's gonna get hurt because that one seems like the safer way so it's not gonna be uh pause pause to pick the rifle stop it pause to pick the rifle and take a quick shot at a tin can a tin can pings and topples over we are amazed to see a small bottle of clear liquid hidden underneath the can called vodka we Find more hidden beneath other cans and store them in our bag. Plus the 150... That type of water. Contaminated, I think. We're distracted by tiny electric cars half filled with sand and a tall slide named Helter Skelter. But it's the Ferris wheel which catches our eye. There are voices coming from the uppermost pod. An old man and teenage girl poke their heads up. Man waves a gun threatening and warns us to leave. Uh, heat is warming. It's not worth getting shot over. It looks like one of those toy guns. Kind, climb up and try to reason with them. Um, mm, I've only got three people. I can't risk losing one. You know what? No. Uh, we immediately shout out that we mean no harm, but he continues to wave the gun, so we'll be... That's fine. Hopefully there'll be something else around to use. Uh, we meet. Always does that. Stop it! 
Uh, they want nothing to do with us and clearly don't trust us. Why would they? For an old man and girl to be so utterly abandoned, you can only imagine what they have been through. Just another sad story from the wasteland. Uh, we leave passing a ghost train wrecked upon the track. The only ghost here, the memories. An old bell chimes softly in the breeze as though children were still at play. Take some time to look around, speaking quietly. Okay. I'm glad this wasn't the end end of it. Oh, nothing goes to wait. Uh, the more we discover about our ancestors, the more we see they were not wholly bad. They used places like this for distraction. Perhaps disconnected from reality for a while is a healthy concept. We've discovered the law and nothing goes to wait. Citizens' daily water needs are reduced by five. By salvaging spilt water, split water, being scrupulous and using sand to cleanse our skins, we find ways of reducing water consumption. Okay. Um, I guess that works. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get out of here now. <sighs> That'll take 10 hours. Yeah, I know I don't have power. Thank you. We're, we're aware of that. See, now I gotta find a way to escape. So, which is what I'm doing right now. So, I'm gonna speed this up. Because there's no way I'm not gonna get anything solar built in time. So, it's all good. Three hours left. Two hours. Till they get there anyway, one hour. Okay. Sea seaside trail. An old hiking trail that runs down along the seashore. People in the old world would go on treks along paths just like these for fun. Whereas for us, long journeys exposed to elements may be matters of life and death. Not none of us can deny though that the trail offers a scenic view of the ocean. We discover a ridgetop trail that leads away from the rest of the region we've so far explored. The trail stretches on for some considerable distance and it seems like it would be a particularly arduous journey to make without due preparation. However, exploring so far away from home might help us discover safer lands in which we might resettle. Far away oppression of the dust, dust devils. What should we do? Good thing we have enough supplies. We need to escape from the Dust Devils as soon as possible. We'll have to come back later when we have enough supplies to make the journey. I don't I mean, I've got two days of water, three days of food. So, um, I hope we have enough. I guess we'll, we're going to find out pretty quick here, but I'm hoping we have enough for this. Come on. Oh. Ah, oh, always have to go up. Good thing we have enough supplies. We need to escape. Uh, we spend a very long time navigating the seaside trail. As we near the end of the trail, we come across some rocky ridges that seem to form the border around a small cove. Before we can explore much further, a small caravan of wagons comes around the bend in the trail just ahead of us. We ready ourselves for a confrontation, but they quickly signal to us that they mean us no harm. They tell us, that they are peaceful traders who pass through the area every so often and that they're willing to trade scrap for food and clean water. Agreed to give them some of our scrap in exchange for supplies. Um, you know what? I think we're, we're good. But at the same time, you kind of want to... <sighs> no, we're going to decline right now. I think we're going to decline this time. We take some time to consider the offer, but eventually decide we don't wish to make a trade at that moment. Okay. Kind of want to be friends, you know, don't, don't want to make enemies yet. Uh, traders begin to continue on. Before they go, they tell us that they pass through the area by the cove very regularly. So if we ever change our minds, we will be able to find them in the area. That's good. We come down to survey the cove. It indeed seems like a hospitable plate area in which we could begin a new settlement. There don't seem many seem to be many scrap deposits or much fertile ground for growing crops. 
but just the promise of a new home far away from the evils of the dust devils is inviting itself. What should we do? We desperately need to relocate as soon as possible. Send a messenger back to tell our fellow survivors to come join us immediately or not ready. Um, let's go for it. We're, we're going. Rest the com Okay. <laughs> As we flee the bandits' territory, we find ourselves in poor shape. Hungry, thirsty, angry, bloodied, and bruised. No one likes a reason to feel miserable. But from this ordeal, something has become clearer. Survival in this harsh world is possible. If the lawless brigands can endure, surely we can find a way. We've learned a valuable lesson. It's every man for themselves out here. And we will not let ourselves be bullied again. This mean we'll get to make weapons now? Or something somewhat useful? I only got 58% for overall performance on that. Really? Okay, fine. So I guess we're moving on. As we flee the bandit's territory, we find ourselves in poor shape, hungry, yada yada. So that is exactly what uh, was just said. So let's uh, let's continue on. Let's see what this uh, new place... I'm going to have to build everything again, aren't I? Oh, I think I will. A wreck. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Okay. Oh, geez. Oh, that was probably a nice bridge at one time. Interesting. It's, uh, I want to know what the new... We got water stuff. Alright. The rusted hulk. The salty sea breeze and the promise of water draw us to a new valley lodged between some rocky heights with a flat ocean beach nearby that seems ripe for the construction of a desalination plant. However, more so than any other feature of landscape, our attention is drawn to the enormous ancient form of an old world container ship, breached and rusted on one side of the cove. Is that where we're gonna get our scrap from? Okay, let's pause this for a second. Oh, I have a bridge here. Okay, this is actually a much larger area. It looks like I, I've had yet another bridge to up here. Okay, so this is arable land. So that's where a farm will go. Okay, so we got berry bushes. Yep, there's a scrap pile. Okay. Another one over there. Yep. Yeah scrap pile over there that's like almost working like a little dam over there okay so this area is actually there's an airplane actually pretty big okay so there's for a well okay let's um let's get our basics down quickly I think that would be most important right now. Nope, not you. Storage. Food storage. Whoa. Okay. That that was not necessary. It just like froze for a moment. That was kind of weird. Yeah. One area, that's all I got. Oh no. <laughs> I got one area. Okay, so I can I can pull stuff up here, so. That's good, but I have one area. Oh no, <laughs> that does not sound good at all. Um, okay, I am thinking, because there's really nothing that I could use up here, of actually putting the housing up here, but then that's going to take them a while to get like work, which may not be so good. Yeah, I've only got this one. I'm still gonna have to get water up to it. Maybe. Okay. Oh, I have to. I just realized I gotta watch my scrap level. Okay, so let's. Um, 
only brought 49 uh sorry 29 people with me so let's put two on there two on there two on there so that we've got water started nope ignore those let's go here two there okay so we've got some water started right what did i do what did i do with it that's this one right nope this okay so water is started there um so this one collect contaminated what not you i need the storage yeah i still need this i want to put this more over here because that way i may okay okay so that's where yeah, i have to get rid of all of these before i have access to those oh that's gonna suck <laughs> okay well i'm gonna put this one here because i didn't see anywhere else for water so i'm gonna put that one there you um do i have enough yes okay i'm gonna start so that they can start building those I still need so oh I need three fifty for a house. I forgot about that. Yeah, I I I don't have enough now for any of those. Um let's max you. I don't want to max the food quite yet. This is uh this is definitely gonna be interesting. But I am so this is two thousand. They all have two twelve thousand. Okay. You let's max. I still have fourteen. Okay, I'm gonna max those two. Then now I still have nine available. Like I said, I don't wanna go overboard with those yet. Um Yeah, we should be... I am gonna need some of those. Medical center and housing. Housing I feel like I should do next. I'm gonna do housing over right now in this section here. Because if I can put anything else up here... I can, but it looks like up here would just basically be more housing. So I'm going to start off with housing down here. Up here will be the farm. I'll probably have... I think over here, yeah, for the, the screw thingy, the, the pump, that can come up here. So that'll be useful. Um, you need people. Let's get people in there. That's 20,000. So at least that should last us a little bit of time. Oh no. Um, what if I add one more? And one more. <laughs> Looking at I was in the negative for food. That would have been really bad. Really, really bad. I mean, I could always pull from these if I absolutely had to. But these are going to be in the way. So I already know that. I've got one person now that's going to be building pretty much everything okay start building I don't even care the order these hold four or five gonna need a lot and that's kind of why I have so many people on the scrap right now okay we got food coming in we've got water coming in our basics are covered basically so We'll do that. Should be able to get this soon. Cycling. As we become more comfortable in our new settlement, we begin to find that it is one major disadvantage. There are very few nearby sources of scrap. The vital resource we use for construction. Oh, that was one sentence. However, it seems like the enormous rusting old war container ship run old world container ship run aground on a nearby beach might offer a solution to our problems. Yeah, so pretty much what I was uh, 
thinking because that's 12,000 right there so that'll be one of the last or the last thing that I throw anybody on uh, medical center I'm gonna throw you here kind of close close by ish Yeah, right there work. Okay, do I have enough? Nope. I gotta wait a little bit. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. <laughs> Look at all the levels, how fast they're, they're rising. It's excellent, except I know this is gonna backfire on me. You. And you. Oh, those fit perfectly. You got 2400 left, 25. Um, where is, not those, not you, this one, this one, okay, so I am going to need you there, because I definitely need to farm as soon as I can, actually I wonder if I should do a couple of towers, Um, I'm gonna just throw one person in there right now, and minus two people from that one, so this one can be max. Oh, eight people have a house. So, yeah, okay, so 10, 20, so there's for 30, so that right there is enough for what we've got at this moment. Probably not gonna be enough for what we'll have in like 10 minutes, but what we have right now, it will be enough. Okay. I want these because they're good for ignite and that could at least get the farm going for the moment while I wait to, to be able to build all the rest. Hope that makes sense. Because oh, now what? Caravan messenger. Messenger arrives at the entrance of our encampment claiming to represent a small nearby traveling caravan. He tells us that our caravan passes through the area every three days, hoping to meet wastelanders willing to buy their merchandise. Hardy, imperishable food. They are willing to trade their stores of rations to us in exchange for scrap. So 200 scrap for 500 food. We are good though. Uh, we'd rather keep our resources right now. Maybe we'll change our mind next time they're in the area. Which will be apparently in three days. Yep, right here. Uh, caravan will return. We're going to need at least 500 scrap in order to do trading with them. Okay. I know. Collects contaminants. So you... I know. I know. Nope, wrong one. Okay, let's get this farm built. Excuse me. Okay, you, uh, water, oh, I need an actual water storage for that. Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. This is going to be its own personal water, uh, no, this works, this actually will work. Because this will go there, this will go there, and then this will go here. Okay, so you, go to you. I want this one, 78. Oh, let's hurry up then. That one is almost built. Oh yeah, they're getting built. Nothing... I like how they'll build at night, but that's it. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Okay. You to you. And then you to you. Use the good stuff. I get that in a moment. Perfect. And then you... Well, you're getting two people for now. Okay, so you... You... So... <laughs> one person has chosen not to, like, live here. You, you are not homeless. You have... Su there's sufficient housing. Apparently he doesn't like somebody that lives there. Okay, so you will 
water storage, the, the distribution center. Okay. Okay, so maybe I didn't need this actually. That's fine. Food or water, we're doing pretty good. Food, we're doing fairly good. So far, how are these doing? Oh, we're about halfway done, so that's good. Uh, yeah, you're about halfway as well. Okay, so I do, however, I need the... I need to wait. <laughs> it's always the waiting. I can't... Yeah, oh, 500 medical I got, house I got. Water distribution I don't have. Food storage is right here. Water storage. I've got two, yep. Water right there. You're at 6,000 left, so I'm gonna have to actually... I just realized... Well, no, because these as well... These work at night. So... I need these, though. Because I need to start... I need to do the research. So that I can get stuff uh, on the ocean there. Um, research. You actually, I just realized, these are the most, I wouldn't say most useless, but they take up the most amount of space so they can go up here. Speed you up slightly because I also need the expedition center which is going right next door to it. Okay. Is this seriously going to want me to build another house for that one guy? <sighs> Fine. I will build the one house for that one guy. He's going to be so picky about it. I'll minus one from there. Operational, you can use it. Yeah, I know. So I need to connect from a water storage, the water converter, or distribution center. Um, yeah, so wetland. Yeah, this needs power, which I can't do right now. Uh, not enough. Oh! Right, I forgot about that. Okay. Can you go there? No, that's too far away. Of course it is. <laughs> Everything's always too far away. Okay, that's fine. Come on, let's, let's, let's hurry up here. I'm gonna stick this, actually. Is this going to be too far? No, this should be okay. But that's the distance of the other one. So if I put this one... I was thinking of where I could put this one since that one is just out of range. I guess we'll have two right there. I'll be fine. <coughs> Food storage. No. So from you... Wait. Okay, no, I lied. Cancel that one. Destroy, yes. Okay, so what do I need for this? If not, I am confused now. Food storage within range. But that wasn't within range. Oh, because I did the distribution. Never mind, we're good. Okay, right there. I was <laughs> so confused. Like, why? Why is that not working? Okay. We're good now, we're good. Okay, are you, though, getting enough water? Um, so, oh jeez. I need a lot of water for that one. Okay. If I stick you over here. I'm gonna stick you down. Nope. 60, 75. 73. Okay, if I stick you there, and you can go to there as well. 
Once again, I need more of this. Oh, it's nighttime too. Yeah, I needed to build a separate house for that guy. Oh, did it just do it with that? You go to there. This is what I'm waiting for. But I have to wait until the... Oh, my research is good. I can do research again. Come on. Keep going. Oh, our water is in the negative. That's not good. Okay. I'm on that in a minute. Okay. Um, I've got those. Water, food. I've got those. Water mill. That's what I need. Going, yeah. <laughs> Windmill is paused again. Sorry. It's the way it is. And actually it's going to take forever at this rate because I don't have anybody for it. Um. Okay, well, nobody's going on there right now. You're going there. I am going to pull a couple from there to throw them also on here. Why is our water so low? 5 there. I think it's just because so much is required of it. <laughs> These little connections everywhere. These pretty much are only at night as well. Yeah, that uses up a lot. Okay. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I don't have people to do expeditions yet. Can I see any? Oh, I can. Dockyard and a courthouse. Okay. Nope, not setting. Let me go back on you. Okay, so these are... This is the... Okay. It's 60. That's good. Because I need... I don't know how it's going to work in here, but... I need in there def definitely because water is uh, it's going to be important. But I'm going to pull two from there, throw one onto there, only because it's already. Oh, never mind. Well, I was throwing one onto there. I thought I must have done two. Only because this is almost done. Like literally, it's at 30, 31, 30. So. We've got some time. And then those can get moved up to that one. I still have to be really careful that I don't go through all of it. Um, I have nothing in there right now. The farm. Okay, I can... Ooh, the water storage. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need another one of these. I already know that. Yeah, right here. And then I'm gonna throw a water storage. Nope, not storage. Pretty much if I can, kind of in the middle. I don't know if that would be in the middle of this is in the way. <laughs> this is literally in the way. That's uh that's not not good. Okay, how much longer? Oh, I'm way up here. For you. Fifteen hours. Oh no. Oh, we should be okay. Resource has been depleted. Yeah. Um we're only at forty two. Okay, so you have. Let's throw that there. One solo person on there. I don't know what to do once the scrap scrap runs out, though. I don't understand. Like, there's all these little pieces. These things could be used as scrap. I don't know why it doesn't let us do that. 
Like, all of these could be scrap pieces, even if it's only a couple. You know? Really, dude? So the one guy that refused to go here, so I had to build a new house for him, he went there anyway. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Just sure. Uh, yeah. Food, we're doing fairly good. Only got three people on here for now. I feel that's fine. I'm gonna speed things up just a little bit. Oh, that one's finished. Hello? Dust Devil Refugee. A train of haggard wastelanders wander near our camp. As we give one as we give one a small sip of water in rasping words, he explains that this group had just barely managed to escape from an evil group of bandits known as the Dust Devil who raided and pillaged their encampment repeatedly until they were forced to leave. They beg us to take them in and move by their plight, so similar to what we recently endured, we can't help but aid them. Okay, so <laughs> we're letting them in anyway. I had exactly enough. That's... no. I just got 11 new people, and I had 11... Okay, whatever. It, it wants to be weird. Fine. Ooh, solar farm. Let's put that up here. This seems like a good spot. I really hope. I hope. Um. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm down to seven. Um. Why am I... Okay. I guess that person died or something. I have no idea. don't really care right now either to be honest okay but now I can max you we are short a lot of water though oh, I have to do this oh wait I can do an expedition because I have nine people not doing anything uh, and I have a bunch of water so let's do max let's do 500 uh, oh, but our food. Seriously? Uh, okay, never mind. We're gonna hold off right now. That's gonna take two hours. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, we're, I'd say we're doing fairly good. We're, uh, I mean, we're low on food. That's kind of expected right now in, uh, in the chaos of, uh, of all of this definitely do need more water which is why we're doing the research right now oh someone died of food contamination it starts already a uh, food yeah resource pile has been depleted that's this one here exactly what i thought um so our power plant is done or solar not power plant wow suspended can't produce because of not enough okay well now you have a worker so shut it Okay, so this, I guess, just powers everything now? So, uh, while consumption is more than available power, no power can be distributed. So I don't have, like, batteries to, for it to uh, charge into or anything. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If you like this and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified when a new video comes out. And uh, let me know in the comments any hints, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, now we, we've, we've got power. So that is, uh, that is awesome. And thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.